like 8 30 and i'm about to leave for my workout class i thought i would vlog it today and tomorrow and do a little like prepping for trip with me video kind of just a vlog but i have a few really fun and exciting appointments that i want to bring you guys along with and then i will kind of update you guys with the plans throughout the next few days as we get to them but first things first go get our sweat on for my outfit i'm just wearing a gymshark set so this is like a taupe colored high neck tank top i really like the mesh details here it looks really cool and i'm just wearing a sports bra under and then i have on these gymshark little they're like bike shorts but like when you're working out they kind of ride up and turn into booty shorts and then i have all my stuff in here hair on a high pony it's going to be a good cardio workout I'm so dead right now. I've just noticed over these past few days, or maybe it's just because I haven't been at 45 in so long, but my stamina is so bad because I wasn't able to like work out and do cardio for six weeks. So hopefully by the next few weeks, it'll be better, but I had to stop so many times. But also the class we did was called marathon. So I'm sure you can imagine how fucked that is and it was two minute sets the good thing is you only have to do like that set one time but then i believe there was like 10 sets or 10 different like circuits you go through anyways i'll see you guys at home <laughs> oh, i'm dead <laughs> ready is in the microwave today i opted for my apple cinnamon it's so good and now i am making my coffee so i mixed in my collagen powder in here and my double shot espresso and then i'm just going to add it over ice okay oatmeal's done i also forgot to put a new pack of oat milk in the fridge last night so it's gonna be all warm and gross it's over ice so it won't be that bad and i literally just pour it over top I usually stop like there and there you have it just a basic oat milk latte i find mixing my oatmeal so satisfying so i'm gonna show you guys because like the peanut butter melts into it yup Good, that looks i'm actually going to take my vitamins right now too because i'm bringing this all upstairs and i don't want to have to come back down so i'm gonna fill this up we have vitamin c multi probiotic fish oil hair skin nail okay hello everybody it is several hours later it is 12 55 p.m like my phone's music is about to go off um i just finished at the dent I knew it was gonna happen um i just finished at the dentist i don't know if i told you guys earlier but i'm picking up well i just picked up my knife guard because i grind my teeth very badly i tried to get one from shoppers but it was so horrible and i had anxiety and i couldn't sleep with it on because it was literally a hockey mouth guard so i have one that's like molded to my teeth for my bottom it's definitely like not as thick as the other one was i'm not gonna put it in because that's disgusting. Let me just bring you guys up to speed with what is going on today. I'm actually getting a spray tan today at three o'clock. The owner of Toronto Tans 
I believe her boutique is called the Golden Bar. She invited me out to get a spray tan, which I'm so excited about because I'm actually going to Montreal this weekend. I don't know if I told you guys earlier in the vlog. I think I meant to, but then I was just so busy. But I'm going to Montreal on the weekend. So this is literally the perfect time to get a spray tan. I don't have to apply a fake tan in this last much longer she does like custom formulas for each person so you don't get an orange spray which is definitely what i'm looking for i'm so excited so i'm gonna bring you guys along i'm actually very nervous to get one though because i believe you stand there naked like i don't really know it's not like you're in a machine and you just like turn she's physically like up in your grill spraying you so I asked her and I was like, hey, what do I wear? She's like, some people prefer to wear a bikini, but like a majority of my clients just go nude because they don't want sp they don't want tan lines. So it's definitely very out of my comfort zone and I'm not really looking forward to that part, but I also don't want tan lines. So you gotta do what you gotta do, right? The weird part is, is like, I'm just like scared about my boobs. Like I don't care about my ass whatsoever. It's just my boobs, but it will be fine and it will be worth it in the end she sees boobs every single day so it's not like it matters i was at f45 this morning and rochelle actually has an interview at a restaurant downtown today at 2 30 and my spray tan is at 3 so we're going together that just worked out perfectly because i was kind of nervous to go alone so i'm picking her up after i leave and then we're gonna go downtown together i'm gonna drive that's just so weird how like our worlds just collided like that we both are going downtown today at like the same time i'm gonna walk you guys through the prepping that i did for this so basically the day before your spray you shave exfoliate and moisturize your whole body which i did and then the day of you don't moisturize at all so yeah it says don't wear moisturizer perfume deodorant or makeup to your appointment and to wear loose or dark clothing there so that's why i have my hair in an ugly bun i'm wearing this chocolate brown white fox graphic tee i'm wearing a bra under but i'm probably gonna take it off well i'm gonna have to take it off and just go braless like under here on the way home and then i just have on my black little sweat shorts from princess polly and then i'm wearing a black flip-flops and i'm wearing a g-string that's something else i asked her i was like what do i wear and she said she just wear cheeky underwear or whatever so i'm wearing a g-string tmi i don't know but yeah <laughs> that's what's going on right now that's how i prepped i'm so excited I just feel like so confident. Post tan. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys are able to tell. No, you definitely can tell. I look so like, dark. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. And like, she was really careful with the hands and toes, which was really cool. So she like wiped my nails after too, which is like details. And I don't know how to show you guys this without like flashing you. But like, Look at that line. It is not even done developing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the lighting is probably better. It actually smells so good too. I'm so excited to see what it looks like when it's done. It's gradual, yeah. So, are you putting it back on your? Yeah, I think she's only to wait in here. Kind of awkward. After like the first minute, you're like, okay, fuck it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> okay, we're getting food now. Pokey pokey. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi, how are you? Oh, oh. Can I send that off? 
It's not the place we're going. It's right beside it. Yeah, because it's kind of support. Oh my gosh, guys, it is several hours later. You can kind of see my tan. It's about seven o'clock and I literally got home 20 minutes ago. I rushed, slicked my hair back, put on some jewelry and did a little bit of brow gel and mascara. But I'm going out for a double date with my friend Maria and her boyfriend. So I literally got home just in time. Jay is on his way to pick me up. I thought I would do a little OOTD. So these earrings are... I want to say from like Adidas Jewels. This is Vibe Season, my everyday jewelry from Anna Luisa Vitali Missouri. And I have on this black tank from White Fox. And then this Princess Polly black silk midi skirt that has like slits on each side. And then my platform flip flops from Steve Madden. And then I'm just going with my black nylon bag. Just going for a full black moment because my spray is still on and I have to rinse it off before I go to bed. I'll talk more about the spray tan later today or tomorrow because I seriously don't have time right now. But I'm freaking obsessed. We're going to Corrado's which is an Italian restaurant and it's going to be amazing. Like I look so tan and I'm obsessed. For this and like black makes you look more tan too so i'm like really living for this guys it is the next day so it is pretty late in the day not gonna lie i believe it's like almost two o'clock literally 1 58 so it has actually been a crazy past 24 hours let me just kind of walk you guys through what went on so you guys saw i think the last time i talked to you was when i was getting a spray tan so once we got downtown it was super hectic because i got the spray and then we went and got food and bubble tea and then we had to like rush home because i was going out for dinner at seven actually i think that was the last time i talked to you guys i was like showing you my outfit but it literally took us like two hours to get home because of how bad the traffic was so then i quickly changed went to dinner on like a little double date we were like hanging out last night and then whatever i went to bed i woke up this morning i went to f45 you guys saw that and then rochelle and i went to tim's tried the new salted caramel cold brew which is incredible by the way you guys need to try it and let me know how you like it it's so good and then we had a nail appointment at 10 30. i just got bio gel over top of the orange tips these are my real nails i'm really excited for them to grow out even longer so I'm probably going to do the orange again, but it will look better once they're longer. Or maybe like next time I'll do like a more peachy orange, but I'm literally obsessed. I came home, showered, was doing a bunch of work on the computer, and now here we are. So I want to show you guys how my spray tan has set. It looks so good, guys. So I rinsed it off last night before bed, and it is fully developed right now. It looks so good. Probably easier if I go over here. You guys can see how dark I am, but it looks so natural and so beautiful like i think i showed you guys the tan line like look at that and i'm just so excited to be tan it's like kind of very similar to fake tan except it lasts longer and obviously someone else is spraying you but the scent of it and everything and how it looks reminds me of my loving tan she actually was like do you like the color loving tan we'll try to make something similar because she does custom mixes, which is so cool. So like I said, I'll have the shop linked down below, but it's on Young Street in Toronto. If you guys are in the area, you should definitely check it out. And she's so sweet for inviting me. I just really appreciate it. And I'm absolutely in love. She said it lasts like two weeks usually. So I'm in love. 
and I just want to show you guys how it's fully developed. The process was definitely awkward. I've never experienced anything like that before, but the outcome is so worth it. I'm in love. But today has actually been a pretty crazy too. I have so much stuff to do before I leave to Montreal. So I'm feeling a lot better now that I have my spray and my nails done, but I still need to pack today. I have to make a thumbnail for my video that goes live tomorrow. I have a lot going on, so I don't know. I feel like the next time I talk to you guys will probably be when I'm packing, but I just want to pop in, talk to you guys today, and show you the spray. Okay, vlog. It is so many hours later. It is 8.40, and I've just been like pretty much walking around my room not knowing what to pack it's five of us going so we're all going to be bringing so much stuff and i'm figuring like if i don't wear something that i bring someone else will and vice versa i might not even end up wearing a majority of this stuff but i would rather be prepared and i'm definitely very overpacked but i'm thinking this is what i'm gonna wear in the car tomorrow because we're driving five hours so i want to be super comfy i checked the weather it's like raining and 20 degrees so i honestly might even wear sweatpants instead and just pack these i'm gonna see what it's like in the morning that way i have comfy clothes already on and hoodies take up a lot of space so i'm trying to wear it i guess we can start with shoes i'm still debating if i want to bring my white sneakers or if i want to wear my platform converse because i feel like if i want to wear them out the converse are better because they're like cuter and darker and i'll probably be wearing a black for a majority of the outfits and i'm figuring like rochelle will probably bring her white sneakers so i'm like if i really want to wear them i can wear hers and then i'm bringing my cowboy boots I have a pair of heels, and then I also have a pair of sandals, and then I'm also going to wear my flip-flops, just like little flip-flops from Old Navy in the car ride there, just so like they're really easy to slip on and off. I have all of my makeup in here, I have like shower stuff, makeup remover, all that, and then getting into the clothes, I have my pajamas here, so I just have like little booty shorts and a graphic tee, I have like bras, underwear, socks. I have a bathing suit and a sarong because we're going to a spa on Sunday, which is really fun. So I believe there's a hot tub. I just have my 437 suit and then a little sarong from Blackbow. And then I have three dresses because honestly, like I said, we're not really even sure what the vibe is, what we're feeling, what the weather is going to be like. And so I just brought a lot of options. So I have this like brown knit halter neck dress from White Fox. I have this really cute black button up from dynamite that's a dress and then just a white baby doll dress from aritzia i'm thinking i'm gonna wear that to brunch or not thinking i know i'm gonna wear that to brunch and then over here rochelle wanted me to bring these this is just a really cute green midi skirt from princess polly really nice because you can dress it down or up and then i have a little silk matching set moment um from white fox and shein that i wore when we went out a while ago and she liked it and then for pants i just brought my favorite jeans i was struggling to pick a pair but i figured i would just bring my most favorite because they go with literally everything so it's my princess polly asymmetric straight legs i have my melina pants and then i also have a pair of like kind of trousers um i was thinking i could either wear those out or I could wear them during the day with a little tank. And then I just have like some casual pieces over here. So I have a pair of bike shorts, denim shorts, um, and then a linen, a linen button up that I can throw over anything. And then I just have my Realization Par white t-shirt and a pair of sweatpants. Um, if I do end up wearing sweatpants tomorrow, it's gonna be these. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear that little set on the way home, just so I'm comfy and like in different lounge stuff. And then moving in to like the going out tops and whatnot, I just have this like kind of cropped blazer looking ruched top from Pretty Little Thing. I've been dying to wear this and I figured this is the time. I'm not 100% sure if I'll wear this, but I figured if it's like a little bit colder because it's long sleeve, super, super cropped. So I think it would look really good with these jeans. And then for the tops, I just have this like green t-shirt from Princess Polly. I'm bringing this for Rochelle. I know I'm not going to wear it because my tits are too big for it, but I think she would look really good in it. And she asked me to bring a few things for her. So I'm going to bring her that. And then I just have a white 
halter top. I honestly, this is from Beginning Boutique. I might not wear it, but I just thought options, you know, it's super tiny. So it's not like it's taking up a lot of space. I have this like really pretty silk like tie up top from princess polly i'm obsessed with this i'm thinking to wear this out to dinner like with my hair sleek back i think it would be really pretty with some big hoops next i have this like little corset moment from cider i thought this would be really pretty for lunch or something during the day with some jeans i don't know blue cropped little bra top from princess polly this is another option if we do color one night i think these would look really good with my molina pants or even that silk skirt and then i just have like a little tube top here and then my white fox tanks because i can wear them during the day or out and that's pretty much it for the clothes i don't think i'm forgetting anything i know i overpacked the only thing i'm not bringing is a jacket and I don't know if that's a bad idea or not. I'm gonna sit on this for a bit and if I do end up wanting to switch anything out, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm already thinking now that I don't wanna bring my white sneakers or I'm gonna see <laughs> if they can all fit in that bag with my black Converse for options. <laughs> and then for Sunnies, I'm just bringing these little black ones and my Bella ones. Oh yeah, also, I want to show you guys all the jewelry that I'm bringing. So I just have a pair of big hoops. And then this is like all of my everyday jewelry that I'm going to put on in the morning. And then here are the necklaces that I'm bringing. This is Ana Luisa en route vibe season. And then I think I'm just going to like divide them all into these little velvet bags and then stick it in here. I have everything. I know I do, so I think I'm just gonna try to pack it into my bag right here. Who knows if it will be able to fit. Um, I guess we will find out right now. <laughs> I quickly just grabbed this little scarf top that could be an option for a color day. I literally am bringing so much stuff. Everything fit perfectly in there. I'm kind of impressed. Everything fits so good. Okay, perfect. I just wrapped up a little bottle of Casamigos tequila. We all decided to pitch in and get her a bottle. I was in charge of picking it up and obviously I'm extra, so I wanted to wrap it. I love gifts and I love wrapping and decorating and all that stuff. So this is so cute. It's just like a little clear bag and then I tied this like holographic string around it and filled it. I think it looks so cute. I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I'm not really doing anything for the rest of the night. I'm done all of my prepping. All I have to do is put my skincare in my bag after I use it tomorrow morning and we're good to go. I will be starting another vlog tomorrow and vlogging the whole trip for you guys. It's gonna be really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, if you want, and I will see you in a few days. Bye.